Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the podcast. Today, we have the pleasure of having Brian Gallagher with us. Brian has been a physical therapist for over 28 years and has been in private practice for over 17. Most notably, after more than 10 years of consulting practice owners all over the U.S., Brian launched one of the first physical therapy virtual training programs with live coaching focused on the staff, management team, and owners. Brian, thanks for coming on. Oh, JT, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, uh, we kind of talked about this right before we got started on uh, on the recording. But yeah, you're one of my first podcasts that I really got interested in and business on the business side of physical therapy. And so it's honestly super cool to have you on and be able to talk to you. I'm excited to, to learn a bit of, a little bit more about your story and just kind of all the knowledge and, and experience that you've had in the field of PT, especially the private practice section. Absolutely. I'm happy to share it. You know, I, I always say to myself, anything I can do to impart um, some experience onto others so I can help them avoid all the mistakes I made, all the better. There we go. So yeah, would you be able to introduce yourself to the audience and give a little background of yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Brian Gallagher. I'm a physical therapist. I graduated in 1992 and I um, really got out of school with the idea of I wanted to be the best manual therapist I could be. So I took a job with two owners who had been out for 20 some years and they took a liking to me and they said, you know, we're going to send you to every con ed course you want to go on. In exchange, you got to come back and train all our staff. So I said, all right, I'll do that. And I was out of the clinic in my first three years for 33 con ed courses in my first three years. So I was gone all the time, but I had to come back and train all their staff. So I really, at a very young age in the profession, I got used to this idea of I love teaching people. I love seeing the light bulb go off and their eyes light up. And and then all of a sudden they're doing something totally different in their career. And it was because of something they learned from me or something I imparted on them. So I got the bug very early on on, on being an educator. And uh, because that's what I predominantly consider myself today. So, you know, after five years of that, I, you know, told my wife, we need to start our own practice. We we need to do this. And I, I was going at it very slow. I said, let's start in the third bedroom of our house and let's just farm me out and I'll sign some home health contracts. I'll start doing some of that. And that grew. And then it took over our basement. And then I finally opened my first clinic and then second office. And right around there, I had a a change because everything was crashing down. And I made the mistake that so many young PTs make. You think because you're a good physical therapist, you get good results, that you're going to be a good private practice owner. And those are completely apples and oranges. They are totally two different things. And that's what I ran into trouble with. I really ran into trouble with that. 